What's going on everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneLog.com. You can't see me because I'm behind the camera, but there's my hand waving. And this is the Motorola Devour from Verizon. The Motorola Devour with Moto Blur 3G smartphone. This one, you can't have yet because it's not in the stores, but it will be soon. It actually hits Best Buy Mobile first on the 25th of February, $99 uh, on contract after rebate. And then it'll be available through Verizon in mid-March uh, for $149 on contract after rebate. So it's going to be a Best Buy Mobile exclusive for a little while, which leads me into my uh, promo here. We want to thank the folks at Best Buy Mobile for hooking us up with a couple of Moto Devours. Uh, we're going to review them. We're going to give them away over on the One Pod Bandit, so check that out. Best Buy Mobile walkout work, and you, you get to use it. They hook you up. They get you started and everything. In this case, I'm sure they'll get you connected to Moto Blur before you walk out of the store, so that way you can walk out working Best Buy Mobile. Anyway, enough of that. The device itself, let's uh, open it's it one up. It's of those things where it's a PR device and I actually met with Motorola today in San Francisco and they made sure the phone was activated and working before I left. So, uh, you know, not the full on unboxing because the box obviously has been opened, the phone's been turned on and programmed, but still, you get most of the experience. And you know, it's funny, just looking at this phone now, I, there's just something familiar about it. I feel like, I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. <laughs> has Moto Blur. I wonder what would happen if I were to send this out. You know, this new Moto Blur, Motorola, Moto Moto, Moto Blur phone is so cool. I can update my social services even from the bathtub. Maybe I'll take a photo. I wonder what will happen if I post this to my social networks. He pulls all of my important stuff and lets me update my networks all at once. Oh yeah, that must have been it. <laughs> anyway, here's the phone itself, and see, here's the film. We can make it like a real unboxing. We'll uh, take it off, but it shows you where things are. The power lock switch up top, your volume, voice recognition key. To insert battery on the side, I'll show you that in a second, kind of interesting. Um, your optical nav, it's like an optical D-pad that you can actually click. And then you've got menu, home, and back, soft touch, uh, touch sensitive controls on the front there. So we'll show you what's going on. We'll uh, turn this thing on here, unlock it. And so here's the phone. You can see it's all, it's all set up on my Mono Blur account. I got all kinds of alerts because I'm bad. I never check anything, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. So we'll unlock it. And we'll go to the front here, and I'm all hooked up. It's 55 and sunny in Oakland. It's been just gorgeous out here for the... It rained a lot yesterday, but in general, it's been gorgeous out here, which is really nice. Uh, anyway, on the side, like it said, you don't need the weather report. You've got your volume controls with the rocker switch. You've got your uh, voice recognition button. You've got a dedicated camera button. We'll take the little uh, film off of that. On the other side, you've got um, your... your uh, it, it, this reminds me kind of of a laptop, actually. Like those, uh, I know some of the, the more recent Apple computers have this, I'm not sure about other manufacturers, where it's kind of like one slot and you open it and then you get to the RAM and the hard drive and all that, that kind of stuff kind of in one fell swoop there. You've got your USB port, but then uh, next to that you've got this uh, sliding panel and uh, you kind of slide it and then it pops open and then you've got your battery and then you've also got your micro SD card kind of all hidden underneath here. Uh, kind of interesting. I think it's actually kind of cool. It's kind of nice to have that all in one spot. Uh, and hot swappable micro SD card, always good. I believe it comes with an 8. Woo! Yes, an 8 gigabyte micro SD card comes uh, in the retail package. Woo! Okay. So we'll put that back in. And uh, sorry, that whole bathtub experience. It's just, you know, I'm still kind of a little jumpy from it. Uh, on the back, 3 megapixel camera, fixed focus, uh, no flash. And then on top here, you've got a uh, three and a half millimeter audio jack. So the phone is, uh, it's, it's aluminum construction. It's really quite nice. I had the chance to play with this some earlier at the, the press briefing, but uh, really solid. The slider is very solid. You know, I've only had it obviously for a little while, so maybe it'll break in a day, but I don't think so. It feels really nicely made. The aluminum construction is really nice, kind of the brushed metal and everything. It's a big phone. It's, uh, I've got a droid right here, and you know, it's, it's comparably sized. Uh, I think it might even be a little bit thicker, pretty close anyway. I think at its thickest point, you know, a little bit thicker than the droid. Um, 
a little bit taller, just a tiny bit taller. Uh, but it, it's definitely a, a thick device, a big device, but it feels pretty good in the hand. The, the construction, like I said, the aluminum feels great. The, uh, the rubber, kind of soft touch rubber on the edges here makes it a little bit easier to hold. The slider mechanism's terrific. Um, it's not as heavy as it, as it looks, but it's still pretty solid. This is not, you know, a thin, lightweight phone. It's not a Droid Eris or, uh, you know, a Palm Pixie or something like that. Uh, and then on the front, or, or rather, when the, uh, when the slider's open, a little tiny bit of, it's not really a wobble, I don't think it, it's play, I guess a little tiny bit of wobble. I, I think this is perfectly acceptable, but we'll have to play with it for a little while and see. Uh, you've got your full QWERTY keyboard, four row, uh, double wide space bar, um, Works pretty well, you know, in testing it at the at the press briefing, seemed to work pretty well. I'll fire it up in a second so we can see. You've also got an optical touchpad, which um, you can use, you know, I'm sliding through my home screens. Uh, Android 1.6 with Moto Blur, of course. And then you've also got a uh, touch screen. So we can just swipe back and we can go and find out what's going on on the Intertron. Uh, there is no multi-touch support out of the box, no pinch to zoom or anything like that. You've got 3G, obviously, you've got Wi-Fi. Uh, Moto Blur's been upgraded a little bit. It's the same upgrade, though, that you can get on any other Moto Blur device if you upgrade to the newest version. But um, a couple of minor enhancements to Moto Blur. Uh, the music application, a little different, I guess, better syncing or integration of Last FM. Uh, you can see the touchscreen works pretty well, um, but no, you know, no pinch to zoom but pretty smooth, pretty responsive. Uh, you slide the phone shut, you get a quick snap into widescreen, or uh, portrait mode. And then we can flick down and here's all my notifications. So, all right, and so here's what's going on on the uh, Twitter. And you've got the little uh, slider so you can go very quickly through your stream. And uh, we'll go into uh, Ewan here, Ewan who did, um, some coverage, gave us some coverage over at Mobile World Congress. Ewan from Mobile Industry Review and Rafe from AllAboutSymbian.com. We thank those guys for hooking us up with some hands-on video. Since they were at the show going anyway, we figured, you know, let's let the European guys guide us through Mobile World Congress this year. So thanks, guys, for that. Uh, we will fire up a tweet here. A quick message to Ewan. No, I actually, let's just do a tweet. Uh, set status. All services? Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, so we'll go testing the Motorola Devour. Not Bathtub like Megan Fox. Oops. Function, comma, though. And post. So we'll post to Facebook and Twitter at the same time. A little haptic feedback when I click on stuff. Pretty good. Um, you know, just kind of a first look at the device, but so far, so good. Uh, the Moto, it's got Quick Office pre-installed, which is kind of nice. Quick Office is a nice little app for uh, your um, Microsoft Office needs on the go. So uh, one of the things with this device, even though it's only Android 1.6, is that you can install a beta of Google Nav uh, in turn-by-turn -turn directions, including voice, uh, voice command. Uh, kind of interesting. It's not, you know, so far it's only been available on... The 2.0, 2.1 devices in the U.S., that would be the Droid and the, um, the uh, Nexus One. But uh, you can get the turn-by-turn -turn directions with Google Maps on this device, but you have to install some stuff. So let's do that, and we'll come back. So let's go see if we search, and we go map. Actually, we got navigation. Copilot Live, Google Navigation Helper, Google Maps update available. Night mode and navigation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let's do it. All 
All right, so there you go. There is a Google, Google Maps Nav Beta. You can get to it. I think I still need to install the uh, voice to text command system. So we'll hunt around for that. So it's a little bit, you know, a little bit kind of funny. You have to know it's there. You have to kind of, uh, well, you have to know it's there. And then you have to go to the market and download, looks like two different parts to get it to work uh, exactly right. But once you do, the navigation is in effect. And there you go. So you don't have to have, yeah, voice guidance support from the Android market. So you don't have to have the, um, you don't have to have the 2.0 two or 2.1 system to use the free turn-by-turn -turn navigation, which is pretty good. But too bad they didn't have it pre-installed. Anyway, there you go. Maybe they'll roll it out, you know, when the phone actually ships, maybe they'll roll it out in an over-the-air update or uh, something to make it a little more known to people, or maybe they're doing it this way on purpose, uh, you know, to not uh, cannibalize sales of, of Android 2.0 devices. I don't know, the Android uh, versioning fragmentation continues. But enough about that, we're here to talk about the Devour. Here it is, and you know what? I never showed you what comes in the box. Also in the box, you get data cable, micro USB to USB, you get a USB-based charger, so you get one cable, you can take the AC adapter on or off. Uh, you get, I'm guessing you probably only get one battery, and they gave me an extra one by mistake. And then you get your, uh, your handbook, instructions, tips, hints, and shortcuts. So there you go, first look at the Moto Devour, the Motorola Devour. Megan Fox had it at the Super Bowl, I have it now, you'll have it soon. February 25th at Best Buy Mobile, mid-March, Verizon retail outlets, including online. Uh, there you go. It's like a, uh, you know, a while ago we were talking about the phone dog Yang and I, and me, we were talking about, our, and I, and I was talking, about how messaging phones may be going the way of the dinosaur as smartphones get uh, more ubiquitous and cheaper. And uh, here you go. You know, I, I don't want to call it an Android sidekick, but it's kind of like an Android sidekick, right? The form factor... The, uh, you know, the low cost, everything. Very interesting. Much, much more on the Motorola Devour. All the other Moto Blur phones, all the other Verizon phones, all the other phones at PhoneDog.com. And uh, if you're looking for more Android, then you know what to do with. Check out DroidDog.com as well. It's easier to read than it is to say, trust me. Until next time, I'm Noah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>